Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another live color along here on Facebook. This is Ann Manera, and I am having some technical difficulties. So, bear with me for a minute. Everyone is saying there's no sound. There typically is not sound until um, I hit the sound button, the microphone. But, um, you know, this is my, my tech. My tech issue. Hey, Marianne, Sharon's here, Lynn's here, Melody's here. Uh, can I get an invite on Facebook, please? Um, Bonnie's asking that question. You're watching it right now. Now I have sound, Jean's saying. Good morning, Jean. Uh, who else? Good morning to Julie and Mary. Good morning, good morning. Um, I'm going to try to invite you. I don't know if I can, Bonnie. I'm going to tell you what my problem is. I went to my um, iPad. Come here, Scarlett. To watch to uh, watch the comments and watch the video so I could read them. And my iPad was completely blank. Everything I needed to uh, do on my iPad, every app, was a white screen. So bear with me for a couple of minutes while we um, try to figure out what the heck is going on. Hey, Alice. Hey, Mamie. So everyone's saying my sound is good. So today, while I'm trying to figure this out, well, I'll tell you what we're doing. We've got a lot to cover today. So hold on to your hat. Cindy Lamb is watching. Hello. Uh, we are go doing a color along today from Color Along Volume 16. It's a page in neutral colors. And I'll also be using my um, uh, coloring handbook, which has uh, some neutral colors that we can see. Good morning, Sherry. I've got my brand new diamond painting which is from my flamingo book or it's based on my flamingo book and i'm going to be uh showing that off and seeing if i can uh, tackle this diamond painting not for the whole time but just a little bit and then um i want to talk about a uh three day art workshop that i will be hosting instead of a summer coloring camp it will happen in uh august so oh my goodness what is it asking me all right i think I'm, i think I'm, I'm on my way to uh to be back in the world here of technology let me see what's going on i've got to get paisley to stop talking uh, August. So. so did everyone see what i posted on my facebook page about uh the or the three day hold on more issues <laughs> the three-day awaken your creative spirit workshop did everyone see that let me go get uh, something here Come here, Paisley. this is going to be the last one everyone's laughing at me it really is this is going to be the last one so everyone can see it oh my goodness 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 okay whew okay stop laughing this is the last bit here you go all right, let's see. Can't wait to see diamond painting. Me too, Marianne. Uh, let's see. So, what are we going to do first? Let's talk about... Whew, flustered today, huh? Isn't it crazy? All right, so this is what's going on. So, instead of... Um, you know what I should do? I should print it. Let me print it for you. I'll talk about it. Hold on one second. Um... so we can look at the details so I'm not having summer camp like we usually have this year because uh, I don't know I, I, I there's a list but you don't want to hear my 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 problem so I'm not going to talk about it but I've got some stuff going on and I I really can't uh I don't really want to do I'm not going to do a summer camp this year however a lot of people wanted camp and they wanted something. So I'm doing a three day workshop. It's an art workshop, Awaken Your Creative Spirit. Here's the information that's printing. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So this three day workshop is going to have um, drawing, painting, and coloring. So it's not just about coloring, it's drawing, painting, and coloring. So you can kind of see it there. Oh, I can pop it on the screen. Let me pop it on the screen first. 
All right, so drawing, painting, and coloring. It's going to be on Friday, August 6th, Saturday, August 7th, and Sunday, August 8th. And what's going to be cool about this is that we're going to uh, meet in a private Facebook group, just like we did for camp, just like we usually do for camp. We're going to learn, to, we're gonna, uh, one day we're gonna draw with charcoal, another day we're going to do some coloring, but the coloring will be based on kind of an advanced uh, colored pencil technique, I guess. We're gonna take our coloring to the next level. And then we're going to be painting. Uh, acrylic on canvas or a canvas panel, canvas stretch canvas, piece of paper, whatever you'd like. The other thing is that we're going to be doing is that we're going to build upon all of these things. So we'll be drawing um, on the first day and that will teach you how to draw something. Then we're going to color and that'll kind of teach you about blending and shading with colored pencils. And then when we paint, you have the option to either use a template for the painting that we'll be doing, which is going to be a basket of sunflowers, um, which you can see in what I have on my desk. So let me flip back to that. And, um, or you can draw the basket of sunflowers based on what you have learned for the, for the first day. So we're gonna kind of build upon all of it. And then we will um, be working on, so see here's the drawing we'll be doing, the coloring page we'll be doing, and then the painting we'll be doing. So that's what's happening for that three day workshop. Um, 10 a.m. Uh, I didn't put the time on here, did I? 10 a.m. each day. And the, there's not a book on Amazon, but it is a PDF that you need to purchase to sign up for this on my website. It's $19.99 to be part of this three-day Awaken Your Creative Spirit uh, three-day workshop. And if you were to take a painting class from me, it would be $19.99. If you were to take a drawing class from me, it would probably be about the same um, for an individual drawing class. So that's what's happening. So I hope that this is exciting for everyone. It also has some activity pages and we're going to have some daily giveaways. But I'm going to have some giveaways like a diamond painting is going to be one of the giveaways. Um, one of my diamond paintings actually. And I'm not sure what else. I'm in contact with a couple of them. Sometimes I have to wait until it gets closer to it. I don't, people do not get back to me in enough time in my personal opinion so i'm going to be reaching out to different companies um to get some some good coloring or art supplies so it's not just all about coloring so i i hope that you can join me for this i hope this is exciting i hope that this is something that you'd be interested in participating in um because a lot of people are saying yeah i've been coloring and i colored throughout the pandemic and i don't know what happened but i just kind of lost my coloring uh um, right so hopefully this will get you back into uh not just the coloring umph but just um just art an art umph maybe we should have called it an art umph i don't know all right so i have um coloring handbook volume three out with me today because i'm going to be working on neutral colors for today's color along and i want to be able to uh take a look at page 13 in this book hey good morning sam cindy's here with us i think i just saw you again popped out came back in page 13 in this book if you have this book you can take this book out and follow along with me but basically we're going to be taking a look at this last row of colors so that we can say okay well what actually is a neutral color i mean a lot of people think gray brown beige boring right so you want to make sure that you have uh, something that is neutral as far as the tone. So that's what I kind of think of when I think of neutral colors. Um, I think of the tone of it. So if you take a look at the difference between cool, warm, and neutral, I mean, look at this bright orange color. That's kind of a warm color because it evokes a warm feeling. And the cool colors kind of evoke a, a cool feeling. And then the neutral colors kind of are like, you know, middle of the road they could be bland um you know that type of thing so we're just going to get started on this so i'm happy that everyone is here with me today and what's happening with this storm let's talk about what we all love to talk about the weather no i don't want to talk about the weather today because it is crazy out there isn't it one day it's hot one day it's cold i'm using spare farben what a mouthful every time 96 set um, and before I get started on picking my next color, sorry about that wobble, I do want to 
share this. So if you could share this Facebook video out to your Facebook page, it would be great. My sound is good, according to Sharon, right, Sharon? So my sound is okay. The video is okay. I've got a lot of technology happening this morning. I don't know what happened. All right, so let's see here. Where are we? Where are we? All right, I'm going to share this out to uh, a few calling groups. And... All right, that's enough. Okay, so. Where is it? Where is it? Whew, okay. Hey, give me a heart or a likes or a like or a thumbs up or a heart. Let me know you can see this video as we're doing this right now because I feel like it kind of skipped skipped a beat for a minute. So I'm going to start out with um, this burnt sienna color as my very first neutral color. I've got to put these over to the side. Twist myself around. And I'm going to start coloring this lamp first. Now... Neutral, does it need to be uh, colored with a light pressure? No, it just could be any pressure you want. We can use any style we want. We can blend, we can shade. If I had to pick one brand of colored pencils as my favorite, this one is it. Thank you for sharing that, Melody. Um, yeah, me too. I think I say the same. Actually, well, if I had to pick, you mean if someone was like, you know, forcing me to pick, if it was like a life or death situation, Alice, or is this like a... Uh, a casual I need to pick yeah if I had to pick it would be this I think the value of it is really nice it has a lot of pencils for the for the price um, I do love uh, Duent but or Derwent as they say I don't know if I'm saying it right um, and I love Faber Castell but is it the same value maybe not I'll have to get in touch with Tanya and um, but a lot of people have these, right? This picture is similar to Little Boxes, Marianne, but Marianne's asking, is that pick, is that pick in Little Boxes' book? Um, it is not because it is just similar to it. So all of the pages in this book are uh, exclusive to this book. Boy, let me tell you, Paisley thinks that she just needs to speak up every time I have these, these videos. I'm gonna do this kind of light color here, this light blue. Kind of a periwinkle. And let me go get Paisley to zip her lips. Where is that dog? Paisley, what is happening? What is the problem? Sorry about that. Paisley needed a beverage. Um, if someone had asked me. Yeah, I, I agree. I think so, Alice. I mean, I think I, I agree with you. This is a really, really nice set. I mean, I hope, hope that Tanya realizes how much. Tanya is the one who created these pencils. And I just hope that she realizes how great these pencils are for the value. I mean, you kind of look at them and you're like, wow, it's really expensive. But you know what? You get a lot of pencils. The colors are magnificent. The pencil itself is really artist quality. And there's a lot of pencils out there that are kind of like knockoffs of these, or they kind of like try to be them. They try to be the spare of farbins, farbins, right? Um, the good, the names are good. And Jean was just telling me that you could go to uh, the, 
the spare farben. Is it Jean? What is the what is the Etsy shop called where you can buy one single pencils of these? Melody says we have family vacationing at North Myrtle Beach now. Elsa just went through a few hours ago. Is anybody else in the path of Elsa right now? Hey, at least Elsa's not making everything frozen, right? That would be crazy. Um, we're supposed to get hit with Elsa, I guess, tomorrow. I don't know. Something like that. Last night was crazy, crazy weather at my, at my house. Let me tell you. About 3 o'clock in the morning. I didn't sleep good last night. I got to tell you. I just was, like, constantly being woken up by crazy things. I don't know what it was. And finally, at 3 a.m., um... I was woken up to uh, this loud thunder. I really believed it was an explosion at one point. I actually laid, I was lying there thinking, should I get up to go see if my neighbors are okay? <laughs> I mean, should I get up to go see if the house, if a house in my neighborhood just blew up? Because it was just like, beyond, I can't even believe how loud it was. It wasn't like your typical thunder, but I didn't get up. I stayed there. I said, I can't do it. I have to just stay here. I had already been uh, been through looking for the remote control at 1.30 in the morning. Does anyone else have that happen to them where they're, uh, they cannot find the remote control? It was crazy. All I wanted to do was turn the TV off. And I finally ended up having to get up, took practically the whole bed apart. It was just like, is this TMI? I don't know. Is it? What other color? Now look at this. This is kind of interesting. This darker blue color, but that's considered kind of neutral, wouldn't you say? So we're not going to make it so that it's very, um, you know, very bright or anything. Do you ever see people that post things on Instagram and all of the colors that they're wearing are just so neutral? Do you ever notice that? Is that a setup? I think it is. I think they plan it. I mean, I would be like in all different hodgepodge clothes, but these people are just all... Um, in matching clothes. Marianne says, I have two sets of 72 and the 96 set. They are great. I have both too. I have this, the 96 and I have the uh, 72. I'm using the 96 today. This is a cool color. This one is called Golden Yellow. So Jean says, it's Tanya's shop on Etsy. So Tanya Spira is the person and uh, her shop is on Etsy. And hopefully we can get a link. I don't know. Can we get a link? You don't have to do it right now. Mary, Mary says, yes, me. Melody says, Ann, I do that all the time. Where is the remote? And that's how you're saying it, right? Don't you think, Melody? You're saying it like, where the heck is the remote? As a matter of fact, I got up in such a frenzy looking for this stupid remote that <laughs> I got up, both dogs were sleeping, and they both looked at me like, is this, is this a problem? Should we be worried? Like, is there a problem? English setters have a way of looking at you like, um... Like, should we be concerned about this? Is this, they get like a worried look on, them, on their faces. And I guess they were very concerned about this remote control situation because apparently I woke them from their beauty sleep. I, I don't know. I did not, I finally found, I finally gave up and said, I don't see it. That's it. I'm going to go unplug it because you know, the smart TVs, where do you find the button to turn the TV off without the remote? So I was just ready to throw in the towel and poof there it was that little bugger i don't know there should be like a leash on a remote don't you think i was actually thinking if i had <laughs> if i had something attached to this like a piece of string or twine or rope attached to this remote control then maybe i wouldn't be in this predicament i'm gonna Excuse me, put some Blue Lagoon on top of this. Then maybe I wouldn't be in this boat last night. But yeah, that was my that was my activity in the middle of the night. And then woke up at 3 to the sonic boom that I heard. But apparently it was thunder. Right, Melody? Melody, Melody can relate to this. I can tell she can relate to this. It's like, where the heck is it? Jean says, I roll over on the remote for the bed if I don't put it off the side. Oh, and then you roll over on top of it, Jean, and what ends up happening? You change the channel. And then you're like, well, it's got to be here somewhere because 
the channel is changing. So, clearly, it's here. Put a tile on it. Oh, that's a good idea. And then you can find it. I don't have those, Lynn. Maybe I do need that. I was thinking just maybe string, but then I'd probably choke myself. So maybe that wouldn't be a good idea. Right? Yeah, it's awful. Or how about the remote when it gets inside the couch cushions? See, we all have these crazy problems. Just think about how much time you actually spend looking for the remote. Way too much time for me, that's for sure. All right, back to French blue. Pretty color, isn't it? So I figured I would color this page for a bit halfway through or so because I know Marian is like uh, shaking in her boots because she wants to see the diamond painting. We have a lot of diamond painters with us this morning. I just know it. I have tiles on my keys and other stuff, Linda's saying. Really? Maybe I should put... Why don't they have them for dogs? They should put... We should, people should put them on a dog. That would probably solve the lost pet situation, right? This one is called Sunkissed, and you know, it's not as sunkissed as I would, well, maybe sunkissed because it gave someone a tan. Maybe that's why it's called that. I always wonder why it's called whatever it's called. This one is Coral. So I changed my microphone, by the way. I'm hoping that my microphone is better. I now have like a cool little like microphone like I'm on the news little you know kind that you put on the on your lapel but because it's attached to my phone I have decided that if I put it on my lapel like if I attach it to myself not a good idea this one's called French gray let's move on to uh, this gnome guy we will make him have French gray clothes I think I'll do like grays and browns for this guy. What are the tiles Alice is asking? I think I'm out of the loop. I'm a little bit out of the loop too. I don't know if I can explain it. Lynn says, I have one in my backpack until I got a message on my phone that I am out, but my backpack is at home. Well, what is it, Lynn? Explain it to us. Is it like a geolocator type thing? You know, I have this thing. I don't know where it is. Anyway, we hooked a foam. Oh, Jean is telling us something interesting. We hooked a foam can sleeve to the headboard. If I remember to put the remote back up in it after adjusting. Oh, my goodness. That's a very good idea. I won't remember to do that, though, Jean. I tuck it under my pillow. I mean, mistake number one right there. Yeah, Sharon's saying, I don't understand the tiles either. I think, let me see if I have the thing I'm talking about. Hang on a second. It's so crazy that I have this drawer open that I don't usually, all right, I have this thing. This is similar to it. How crazy that I have something that I can, that I can show you like this, right? I mean, why don't we talk about, I had a million dollars in a suitcase and I'm gonna reach over and pull out, let me show you the million dollars. All right, so this has got the tiniest letters ever, but that's okay. Um, I've never used this little thing. Ever. But this is similar. Similar. Hey, Marian. Oh, Marian says, my friend, my friend, hi, friend, my twin is watching. Hey, friend, I haven't seen you in a long time. How are you, my friend? You know, if anyone knows, um, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer to this uh, color along, but I was, I'm going to mention it. If anyone knows Rita Strieb or Strieb, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. She was a part of uh, the, my coloring group and colored a lot of my coloring books. And um, she, I actually had a conversation with her a few times over the phone. Wonderful, wonderful woman. She actually just passed away, um, I believe on July 6th. So a lot of people have, have been commenting in the coloring world and I hope her family realizes how much how many friends she made and how many people considered her a friend in the coloring community, not just in my group, but in a lot of different groups. Um, so I wanted to just uh, give a shout out that we are thinking of you, uh, Rita. What a wonderful, friendly, nice person. Yes, Marianne said, yes, I heard about Rita. So sad, I know. Rita had been sick for years um, with COPD and she had told me that she colored um, to get through her day. And it truly, when I talked to, I talked to her on the phone one night and 
it just amazes me that anyone that has that takes time out of their life to color something that I have drawn or spend time on any of my artwork just touches me in the first place but to think that you only have a limited amount of time left on this planet and or in this life and that's what you're choosing to do really really amazes me so I was really appreciative of Rita of Rita um, she was always smiling she was very very happy you would never know um, that she was that sick okay so going back to so Rita we're thinking of you so going back to uh, these tile things right reality says we even have one on one of our dogs um, and she, we, Melody has a tile in what I keep my driver's license in. Oh, that's a good idea. Sharon says, I would need something like that for, for the, for a hubby. He never puts things away. I thought you were going to put one on your hubby. I'm like, <laughs> Sharon is going to put a tile on her husband. He never puts things away in one place. My OCD is such that I always know where items are because I put them in the same place all the time. It did. It helped her a lot, Marianne. It really, really did. Isn't it amazing? Um, I hope her family is reading all of the comments because people are really making a lot of comments. All right. So um, this is similar to it. And I have never used this, but maybe I'll use it. Or maybe Sharon can borrow it so she can put it on bin. Right, Sharon? She's gonna, Sharon is going to put a geolocator thing on her husband so she knows where he is at all times. Um, all right. So I'm going back to burnt sienna here. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you. See, the conversation that happens at Color Alongs is never, ever as we expect. Right? Ever. And I've been putting these videos on, um, on Facebook. I mean, on Facebook. On YouTube. So I've been uploading the Color Along videos to YouTube. But I'm going to tell you something. I decided that I was only going to... <laughs> But the place, all the places you may find him, right? Um, I decided that the only videos that I'm uploading for Color Alongs onto YouTube are volumes 10 through 16. Volumes 1 through 9, I am not. And I'm going to tell you my crazy reason why. I don't really feel like my graphics for them look professional enough. And I feel like as I was re-watching them, that my camera camera was very wobbly. I didn't really have as much as a, a setup like I have right now. So I feel like uh, volumes 10 through 16 are kind of like the best of, they, they look the best. So that's what I'm doing. So if you need to take a look at volumes one through nine, they'll, they are on my Facebook page or they are on my website. There's a link on my website. So I know conversation is never boring. You're right, Mel, right? Um, so that's what's happening with those, uh, those color along videos because, I mean, I'm surprised I loaded as much as I did, to be honest with you. That was a, a, a project. That was a project. The other thing that I did over the, when I was doing that in between was I gave my website a little bit of a spruce up because I just kind of felt like it was looking a little tired and worn and just kind of neglected. So I spruced it up a little bit. I organized it a little bit more. I think it's easier to shop. I got rid of some categories because it just felt like it was like too much. And I added tons of single pages. There's a coupon that's happening right now. I posted it. Um, well, the orange and blue are neutral because they're not so like in your face. You know what I'm talking about? So here we go with the orange and blue. Uh, maybe my orange and blue on here are much brighter than they should be, though. It's more like a muted color. Does that make sense, Lynn? Um, there's a coupon happening for my website, and it's just simply code JULY20, and it'll get you 20% off um, PDF coloring books or pages. Bonnie, are you having trouble? Are you still watching? Are you still able to see the video, Bonnie Hughes? Because I feel like I keep seeing you pop in, pop out, pop in, pop out. And I'm not sure. So here's a green. I'm going to go up to this kind of brownish color here. And then I'm going to go with this light blue here. This orange here came out more than I wanted it to. I'm going to have to mute it. Hey, Pamela. Pam from Delaware. How are you? 
Haven't seen you in a while. So right now, I am watching the comments, by the way, on three different devices. My iPad, a Chromebook, and my phone. And I'm gonna tell you, I've decided that the best place to watch the comments is my phone. Isn't that weird? That the smallest device is performing the best. It's crazy. Very, very crazy that that is happening. My Chromebook, I can't really see the comments. My iPad, the comments are on top of the video. So I can't really see them. It's very nuts. All right, we're on to the shrooms. Hey, no problem, Pam. I'm glad to see you. Life happens, right? Life gets in the way. I'm going to do a little bit of a, a heavier pressure here for this. And then let's see what else we have. We have this kind of lavender color. It's a nice kind of neutral shade, muted tone. And then I will add this kind of peach color. Oh, okay, Bonnie, good. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. A lot of people, I just kind of keep seeing, like, you know, the people are watching, and then all of a sudden it says, uh, like, it, now all of a sudden it says Julie Moore Rhodes is watching. Isn't that weird? How is the weather in Delaware, Lynn is asking. I know storm is coming up the coast. Yes, how is the weather in Delaware? That's a good question. Don't watch the news. Just just watch a, a live color along, and you'll know the weather. Just, like, just like live Hey, here we are the people that are experiencing the weather. I am using Spira Farben pencils. This is my 96 set. And this is actually, my topic today is neutral colors. When I think of neutral colors, I think of colors that can just kind of go with anything. Like you can wear them with anything if you were going to wear clothes like this. And they're kind of muted. They're not so bright and bold. But this kind of orange, I'm not so not so sure about. Pam says, cloudy and a bit muggy and hot. That's what it's like here. That's what it's like here in Rhode Island. I'm in Rhode Island, southern New England, so it is like that here. It's hot, muggy. You know? Hard to get a food delivery today. That's the other thing. You always know when the weather's bad or when something's happening, when you try to do an Amazon, a Whole Foods order, and they have no delivery times. It's kind of a, a key. A key to knowing what the heck is happening. I have to turn my iPad vertical to see my comments, otherwise they are on top of the video and cannot see them, Mamie is telling me. Oh, I better make sure I do that too. Let me see. Oh, well, there you go. Thank you. It worked, Mamie. Thank you. Where is my head? How did I not know that? 90, humid, and cloudy in New Jersey. I don't know what the temperature is here today, but I'm sure that it's pretty close to uh, 90. It's 90 now, though? Is it 90 right now? Oh, cool, Pam. Pam's, Pam's telling me that her college roommate lives in Portsmouth, Rhode Island. I'm in the city, so... They must be getting it's hot and humid here in alabama oh it is hot and humid everywhere right oh marianne's giving us the scoop hey chris how do we say that chris klein alice is saying has anyone noticed that some videos you swipe right to remove the comments and others have an arrow at the bottom of the video and you have to push on the arrow to remove the comments i have noticed that and actually speaking of those arrows um have you noticed that now it's like an upvote Thing. instead of the like button it says upvote have you noticed that weird Marianne says my son is in Clearwater in Florida I was worried for him with Elsa it just brushed by him 
I think we will get more effects on Long Island. Oh, I don't really want to have that. I know, that's what they're saying here too. Hot and humid in Alabama, according to Mary Seal. I already read that, but we can read it again. We are in the 70s for the next few days here in the Midwest. Well, I'm on my way, Bonnie, because it is too hot here. Lynn says 85 now. I got in the car yesterday and it said 103. Oof. I got in the car yesterday and it said, uh, I think it said 93. But then it goes down. Did you notice that? I mean, like, by the time I made it around the corner, it was no longer 93. It was just 90. But I remember last year, I had some hedges cut in my yard. And these guys showed up. And it was a day that it was not just the feel-like temperature. It was 107 degrees. It was the hottest day. And these guys worked on these hedges, cutting them. And they didn't even think it was hot outside. I thought they were crazy. But it was pretty hot. Yeah, up and down arrows, Melody, right? In the 70s, but humid and raining in Alice's neck of the woods. Really? Yeah, I hate humid. I hate humid. I hate muggy. You know? I miss winter. You know you do. You gotta admit, that snowball that you might, you should have saved in the um in your freezer is looking is you're thinking you should have done that right now right that's what i'm thinking lynn does not like winter i like the quiet of winter I was happy that it rained on the 4th of July weekend because it was quiet. I mean, it was quiet for the most part, but then all of a sudden everyone went a little nuts. That part wasn't so good. I'm actually going to see what the, let me see what the weather is here. <laughs> Sharon. It's going to happen, Sharon. Right? Sharon thinks it's really going to happen. The S word. That's snow, you know? You got to admit, we miss it. Oh, it's only 72 here. But when the weather channel is in red, we've got issues, right? We have a tropical storm warning in effect on Friday morning until Friday afternoon. Oh, I'm not, not really interested in this at all. And what a name for a storm, Elsa. Surprise, maybe kids are into it, right? From Frozen. All right. Hey, I'm going to stop this coloring page for a minute. And Marianne, are you still here, Marianne? I am going to pull out my diamond painting. Okay? So I have several of my diamond paintings, uh, uh, several of my paintings as diamond paintings that are available on my website. And I ordered my very first one. I'm kind of a a newbie to the diamond painting and um i thought i would share it with you today i thought i would show you what it is show you what's happening what i have um i gotta turn that air conditioner off because i'm actually i'm actually freezing so this one is a flamingo one and it's similar to the pages that are in my flamingo coloring book so I'm giving this a whirl, and I'm not going to lie, um, I started last night, and I did have a few comments from, a few messages from a few different people telling me that I started at the wrong spot. So, I don't know if I did. I do realize that I need to not pull the paper completely away. I bought the one that has round, uh, square beads, not round, and... I have a diamond painting group now called Diamond Painting with Ann Manera, if you're interested in joining that. This little plastic case did not come with it. I had this, uh, I don't know where I had it from, but I saved it. But these diamond paintings um, that I have on my website are from my, they, they, these are square beads. And each of the beads come in these little Ziploc bags, which 
Sharon told me that this was a big deal because some of them do not come in Ziploc bags and they just come in little bags. So I'm happy to know that these come in little Ziploc bags. It also comes with a pair of tweezers. It comes with a little tray. What's the official name for this tray? I call it the boat. Um, then it comes with the diamond pen, the, the pen, the application pen. And then it comes with the little, you know, let's add some stickiness to our pen type thing. You can start wherever you want, Mel Melody is telling me. There's no right or wrong place. Okay. Sharon says, I start from the bottom right and work my way around so that my arm doesn't rest on a glued portion of canvas. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Um, but what I've been doing is, let's see, we'll do some of these, all right? This is the green one. Um, and... The way it works is that you find the number on the, on, and Melody and Sharon are like diamond painting pros at this point. So you guys let me know if I'm telling, if I'm explaining this incorrectly or if there's something, some information that you can add. I'm sure there's others in the group that are, um, yeah, Diana and Tammy will know. Tammy Myers also is really a, a diamond painter. Um, Marianne says, I can't wait to see it. I'm afraid to do it because of the teeny tiny pieces in the kitties. You know, I'm afraid about afraid of that about the dogs. So I've taken, I bought this board on, um, I think I bought it on Dick Blick. It was like two bucks, like this Masonite board. And I basically taped it down. This came out, this came in a tube. This is like 11 by 14 is what it ends up being. Um, it's 30 by 30. Um, and basically it, uh, I just taped it down so it's there all the time. And then I'm only going to uncover what I'm working on, which is what Melody is telling me to do. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is find the number. So this is 905. I'm going to find the symbol. Sharon told me that she writes the symbol on the paper, on the bag. I'm not going to go through that much trouble, Sharon. I'm just going to kind of say, okay, 905, this is the symbol find the symbol on the canvas, and now we're going to get going. Now, I do find that it is a little hard to see, so I have this little teeny tiny adorable little light that I had bought at the Dollar Tree, and I am going to just kind of go like this to lighten up my spot. Isn't it the cutest little thing? Um, so, and it runs by batteries. And it's nice because I can just kind of like, you know, move it around all over the place. But I didn't know why I needed this light, but apparently, Suddenly, I had a need for it. So what do you call this little thing that I'm putting the beads in? Is this called the boat? I'm, it looks like a boat to me. I'm just going to kind of leave this in here. I love these little tweezers. I feel like I'm at Dr. Pimple Popper. And I'm just going to uncover this because that's kind of my stickiness. You, Sharon says, I use a light pad under my canvas, which helps to see the images. I thought about doing that. I do have a light pad. I'm just going to kind of tap that, find my bead. Oh, I'm going to uncover my plastic. Wouldn't that be funny if I did that without uncovering it? I can see myself doing something like that. And I don't want to rest my hand on the sticky part, but I basically just want to. I think that when I first started it last night. Now, see, problem number one. I have to get rid of that one because that one did not stick where I wanted it to stick, which is why I have my little light. I considered a magnifying glass, but I don't know if I'm ready to go there, you know? Where did I get the light? Dollar Tree, believe it or not. Isn't it the cutest thing? They had a stack of them. Now that I have it, I feel like I need more of these little lights. I feel like this light could be in my pocketbook, you know? I have a light pad, a light tray actually. Oh, this is the drill, Sharon calls this the drill tray. I'm gonna call it the boat. Maybe I should call it the drill boat. Now, I gotta say, I feel like I'm not lined up enough. You know, I feel like I have to keep pushing them up. Is this normal? You know, I feel like I have to 
keep kind of pushing them. Amazon has different size light trays. And Sharon says, I use magnifier glasses. Yeah, I'm not really, I don't like wearing those because then they make my eyes hurt. So I'm just using my regular, my regular reading glasses. I don't know if I'm ready for magnifiers. All right, so here's my question. How long would it take you to do one of a diamond painting like this? What do you think? How long does it take you? You do a lot of them, Sharon. So do you, Melody. How long? Melody has a, a diamond painting group, too. If you want to put the link to your group on here, Mary, I'm Melody, feel free. I do, too, Sharon, especially on ones that the symbols are hard to see. The light board. I have a strainer end on a drill pen, which I use to straighten the rows. Oh, this is like... I'm just using my tweezer. I just feel like it's my Dr. Pimple Popper tweezer, though. See, now i got to add a little more stickiness on that thing. So, my next thing that I want to try after this, is anybody interested, it, does anybody do this needle felting? Well, they, it's painting with, well, see, this is the part I don't like. I don't like that they're not all right side up. And I gotta say, I am worried about maybe like a dog eating them, but not that I want to encourage that this should be like, you know, the topping for their pro plan dog food. But I feel like if they did eat this, it is small enough that I don't have to worry. So here's something that you may not know about me, which is a little frustrating with this diamond painting, is that I do not have, or I have a lot of loss of feeling or sensation on my fingertips on my right hand, on my thumb, index finger, and middle finger. So if I was to pick this up, I can't really feel that. Pick up the little tiny pieces. So it was, um, they're so tiny, I know. Dawn says, not sure. I only have one diamond painting I have done or am doing. I have a straightener on a drill pen. Okay. The beads are very tiny. Is this normal for the, si for the sides? This would take you a week? But how many hours, Melody? Like how much time? Just give the tray boat a shake and that will get the drills right-sided. All I'm thinking about is that movie, Pi Patel. Did anyone else, did anyone see that movie? Where the where he was in the boat with the with the tiger, but it wasn't really a tiger. It was like in his imagination, shaking the boat. Now, see, I'm afraid that this came back down. I'm afraid that I'm gonna. Well, I was going to start from the top, like Alice is saying, but the reason why I didn't was because I just felt like the area of this particular. Uh, area that I'm doing is really a good a large section of the same color so I decided that this would be a good first attempt but this light I don't know life of pi that's what it is thank you Pamela it was life of pi doesn't that boat remind you of life of pi I must watch too much tv there's the life of pi boat with the pimple dr pimple did anybody watch dr pimple papa is inside the boat with the tweezer. So I'm taking my tweezer and I'm just going to straighten them out like Sharon told me. I don't know about shaking it though, Sharon. I feel like I'm going to get them all over the place if I do that. Eight hours. Really? All right. So how long do you work on a diamond painting at once? Melody says, I work on them on and off throughout the day and in the evening while watching TV. If you start from the bottom right, Sharon says, the cellophane covering would stay up for you. No, the lion is, it's a tiger, right, Pam? 
the tiger in the boat is really rep it's a metaphor or not a metaphor it's a symbol for something else all of those things inside that boat that he faces really are about really represent his life it might, oh, good. Pam works in a library. Okay, cool. So you can kind of, it is popular with young adults. I think, yeah, it is. There was a movie too. I read the book. I read the book. I did not see the movie. I think I saw like the, the commercial for the movie. But it's a tiger that's in the boat. But the tiger, right, Pam, is not, um, it's not, the main character of the, of the, the book is Pai Patel. But it's not real. The tiger's not real. What does the tiger represent? No, it's not really scary at all. It's not scary in a sense, like he's the only one that knows it's there. But all of these things are inside that boat to teach him a lesson. I hope I'm remembering this book correctly. It represents his fear. Thank you. Yes, all of the things that he's afraid of. That everything that he encounters is all of the things that he's afraid of. You know, it's just like life. Like, it depends on how you look at it. It's very good, actually. I think that, um, I don't know if I, I think I would, I would read the book. I wouldn't see the movie. His fear of failure. Wow. Yes, exactly, Pam. Just tilt the tray and shake it a little, little and they line right up. Oh, well, look at that. I f this is like my, my virgin run of, uh, um, of diamond paintings. All right, I'm just going to do a few more, and then we can move on to our coloring. I'm afraid to put too many out. Yes, the book is better than the movie. I agree with you, Pam. You know, sometimes young adult uh, books are much better than regular books. Like, what the heck? There was this book that I wanted to read called We Were Liars. That's another popular one, too. Right, Pam? Um, or how about the book uh, They Both Die at the End? That's a popular one amongst teenagers right now. So tilt the tray and shake it a little. This is like a dance. I feel like I'm moving really slow. All right, I have two more right there and then I'm gonna stop this row and get busy with our coloring. So they say it's addictive, I've been warned apparently. Okay. So there's my first little area that I've taken care of. I am going to straighten out my little diamonds a little bit, straighten out my rows. I don't know, how did I do? You pick up speed as you go along. Really? All right, I'll try. I think though part of my problem, Sharon, is that I really can't feel the tips of these three fingers. So to draw, it's different. Um, but to kind of put it in there. Coming to America too last night, there was a lie in two hours of my time that I'll never <laughs> give. Oh no! I didn't watch that movie. I really am not interested in that movie for some reason. I watched Coming to America 1 long ago, right? All right. So now let's finish our coloring page. So what do you think about these, these diamond paintings? I'm going to tell you. I have contacted so many diamond painting companies, and every one of them has basically said to me, uh, I mean, they haven't really kind of really said, go away, but they've pretty much said, your work is not for us. <laughs> So I said, I'm tired of being having the door closed and I'm just gonna do it myself. So now they're on my website and there's some paintings and there's some illustrations like that. Um, so check them out. There's a link in the comments of this um, of this video. Sharon, do you use square or um, round? Hey Bev, Melody says round drills, you can go much faster. Do a little at every color along. Okay, Marianne, I will. 
Sounds good to me. I really, I'm probably going to do a video with just diamond painting. I'll try to do a live of just diamond painting. Okay, so moving on to our color along with um, neutral colors. I guess I'm not sure what I would want to do while I was doing it. Do I want silence? Do I want uh, music? There's never silence in my house, by the way. Scarlett is now barking at the trash. All right, so there's my brown. And then I'm gonna go with some gray for this one. Square fills the square fills the area completely. Round is easier to place, but leaves a bit of space. Oh, brother. Decisions, decisions, decisions. So which ones do you use, Sharon? I thought you use it, you use square. Because when I ordered mine, I ordered what you ordered. Um, Sharon, I hope you can you post the um the one you're working on from one of my paintings? I gotta get just call it to be quiet. Hang on one second. It was fun watching you do it. <laughs> Thanks, Marianne. More fun than doing it, baby. Scarlett, there's nobody, honey. There's nobody out there. It's just the trash truck. That's all. It's okay, Scarlett. And I'm gonna take just kind of a light blue for the bottom. This French lavender color, actually. Hey, Tammy. Tammy, you just missed my diamond painting. Did you see it? I was giving it a whirl. Um, so all of my paint, all of the diamond paintings on my website are available as, um, you can pick round or square. So, and I like that they're in those Ziploc bags. I didn't realize that they don't usually come in those Ziploc bags like that. When Sharon told me that, I was like, wow. That would be very annoying. And I'm not going to go and spend time putting the uh, symbols on the bags. I'll just continue to cross-reference. I'll pull it back out before I leave. Yeah, Sharon just bought one that was, um, that's one of my still life paintings. And it's gonna, I can't wait to see what ha what's happening with it. Diana has one also of one of my paintings. It's a flower, a big, big, big giant flower. Hopefully she can paint, she can post hers. I don't know if Diana is still watching. And, um, I don't know. We'll see how long that takes me. I don't know how long that's gonna take me. I don't usually have a lot of time lately to sit and, and work on stuff like that. So we'll see what happens. I feel like I just need to kind of have it sitting on a table by itself where I can keep going back to it, right? And I don't, I don't have to worry. I don't have to like be concerned that, oh, I've got to go take it out. I've got to go put it back. Cause it's kind of like a puzzle. I am worried that the little pieces are gonna go everywhere. And you know, last night I started working on it and I started to question whether or not yesterday was the day for me to do that because yesterday morning I dropped, I had one of those days where you keep like having little crazy accidents happening and I dropped this whole shelf with all this stuff on it that uh, everything broke and shattered and, and then my gazebo in my backyard had water filled in it and all the water came flying down on top of me and so I'm starting to think, I'm not really sure. Yes, I am going, Melody's saying I could do a whole color along with diamond painting. What I am going to do is set something up where it's a scheduled time um, to diamond paint, to work on that diamond painting um, so you can join me. And if you're diamond painting at the same time, then that would be even cooler, right? So it'll be a diamond paint along, a DP along. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a crazy day yesterday, Pam. It was like, what the heck else is going to happen? So then I started working on that paint, the diamond painting last night. And after a little while, I said, I think I better stop because this has become one of those days where 
every where so many crazy things have happened that I don't trust myself. I picture all of the pieces going everywhere. It's like when you drop all, all your brushes or something. Tammy says, I put my mine in pill boxes and label them. Where do your diamond painting ship from? They they actually ship from um, a company on Amazon. So they ship from China. There's a couple of companies here based in the U.S. that I have been trying so much, really trying to get... Um, I'm trying to um, get my paintings as part of, but no one is interested at all. So I don't know. <coughs> the pill boxes is a really good idea, actually. This way it's organized. It's not those little bags. So I may try that. And plus, you can't go wrong at Dollar Tree, right? Especially if Dollar Tree has the one, the pillbox that has um, 24, like the whole, or the whole month, right? That would be cool. Then you could just have the whole month of it, and you don't have to even worry that to fill it. That's a lot of beads. But I haven't counted how many different colors are in this one. Um, I guess I should do that, and then we would know. We would know even more. All right. So I'm on my last color here. And then I will pop that. I, I'm going to take that. Um, I'm going to leave the background of this white, actually. I think it looks cool with white and just focusing on the little boxes. So this is neutral colors. Oh, I forgot this little, little birdhouse down here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, maybe round is easier. I'll do it. I'll order another one that's round. You know what I'll do is I'm going to order um, another one that um, is a painting. Pam is saying the neighbor in the app, the neighbor in the app next door and above left the washer on and left the apartment. Oh, the wait a minute. The neighbor in the apartment next door <laughs> and above left the washer on and left the apartment. It flooded. Oh, no. It flooded upstairs and next door and under a sink cabinet in our main bathroom. The neighbor next to our bedroom ceiling collapsed. We had two inches of water in our bathroom. I lost five towels room. To, that was a few years ago. You, a few days ago, Pam? Oh, my God. That's terrible. Oh, Harbor Freight has a lot of good storage stuff, don't they? I don't like to leave my house with, when the washer's running. I'm always afraid that something like that is going to happen. And it's my washer's in the basement. But I don't like to leave the washer or the dryer running when I'm not home. And Ty would be upset about the towels, too. I'm going to take out this diamond painting again. This is what I've got, Tammy. Um, Tammy, a big shout out and thank you to Tammy because Tammy really helped me figure out how to uh, make this happen. Um, oh, a few weeks ago. Tammy really, thank you, Tammy. I can't thank you enough, Tammy. Tammy really helped me, and she's always given me a lot of tips and comments, um, which I really, really appreciate. So... Um, Diana is saying my daisy is a work in progress, but I'll post what I've done so far on our group page. Thank you. I, that would be great. So <clears throat> let me see. This little case didn't come with it, but I saved it from paper clips. Maybe I think it was from paper clips. So this is what I've got so far, Tammy. Um, I started with this little section here. We were talking about this earlier today about why I started in that area and what I did not type out. You caught me when I first woke up, Tammy. What I didn't uh, type out when I was responding to your message was uh, why I started in this corner. And the reason is because this has the most, it was like the most color. You know what I mean? It was like the biggest area. As opposed to even the sky, because that does not have the same color in the sky. It has different colors. So I decided to start in this section here. And there's just some little tiny areas, like as you get down towards the flamingo's feet. Um... So that's why I figured that this would be a good way for me to kind of wet my, you know, get my feet wet about um, di with diamond painting. But I do realize that I need to kind of like keep the paper on it. They don't tell you that. You know, that's kind of like a, I mean, I guess you, you can say um, it, it should, be, should make sense, right? 
You know what I'm talking about, Tammy? Because I figured that I would just kind of like get that cluster right there, a bigger area. I was going to start in this area, but again, it has, um, they're not all the same for this one. So this one has some yellow, but then it has another one. Now what happens with this one actually, since I have you all here? Um, so when I take a look at this middle section here, all of these, only some of them have a check mark, and I see my check mark is number 165, but then the rest of the squares don't have anything in them. What does that mean? I also have this fancy little light too, Tammy. Oh, they do all have check marks. Oh, the other ones have a T. Here it is. I also thought that, I'm going to talk about all the things that I was like, oh, thank you, Tammy. Um. I thought that I was going to have colors, like these colors and these colors, but now I'm realizing it's only, they're on both sides. It's the same thing, right? Oh, my shirt, this, this shirt is very popular. Thank you, Melody. Um, I'm freezing right now. I turned the air conditioner off, I was hot. I, now I just turned it back on. And now I'm getting cold again. Each square should have a symbol, letter, or number. It does. I didn't realize that it has a T in there, Sharon. Anyway, we'll see how long this takes me. I don't really, I cannot imagine how long it's going to take me. Um, I don't know. I guess I should probably try to get this area done today. <laughs> That should be my goal, right? I can't wait to start the flamingo. I'm feeling like I'm going to just kind of like get this area done and just start working like this whole side of the painting and working over. Um, I will probably break out a magnifying glass to also, Tammy, to kind of get going. I really kind of like this little fancy light from Dollar Tree that I can just kind of, you know, squiggle around, kind of really shine it down on it. So I'm, I like that I have that. I have a light board that I could put underneath it, but I'm not, I don't know if I want to break that out yet. So we'll see what, what happens. I'm actually also thinking that maybe if I was outside. Dollar Tree for this light, Tammy. Isn't it adorable? It runs by batteries. Uh, three, tr three AA batteries. I should probably get some more of these lights. Because, I don't know. You never know. Um, I think maybe if I was outside, it would be cool to work on this. But it's been too hot, so I'm not going out there for that. All right, my friends, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day. Um, take a look at my web, my Facebook page. There's an announcement about the, um, the, the three-day Awaken Your Creative Spirit three-day workshop that I'm hosting at the beginning of August instead of Coloring Camp. Um, and um, what else has happened? Check out my diamond paintings. Um, post your finished page. I know, a buck, right, Tammy? A buck. Get two. I actually didn't know what to do with this, so I had it in a, ca in a cabinet. And I actually almost mounted it underneath my my kitchen counters. I was going to mount it under it. And this tucked under the... Anyway, it was like crazy. Can never have too much light. All right, my friends. I will see everyone soon. Have a great day. Good to see all of you.